We now know that plastics do not biodegrade and not all types can be recycled. In this video, we'll look at the plastic crisis and how we can address it. Between 1950 and 2023, an astounding 9 billion tons of plastics were created. But where did it all go? The majority remains in landfills or the environment. The primary causes of plastic in our environment are littering and poor waste management. Plastic manufacturing and recycling processes can also contribute to environmental pollution. Natural elements such as the sun, wind and water break down this plastic into tiny bits known as microplastics. These microplastics along with the chemical additives end up polluting the water, soil and air. Plastic waste is now so widespread it is found in all the world's oceans and seas. Have you heard of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch? This is an enormous area in the Pacific Ocean where plastic waste is collected by wind and ocean currents to form a soup-like patch. And there are more such ocean garbage patches. In fact, around 11 million tons of plastic leak into the oceans annually. Marine life is harmed by this litter either when they swallow it or when they get entangled in it. Scientists predict that by 2050, there could be more plastic in the ocean than fish. We humans also come into contact with plastics, particularly microplastics in different ways. We may consume them through contaminated food or water, breathe them in with the air, or even absorb nanoplastics from skincare products through our skin. Chemicals leaching from plastic can affect our health in many ways. Unfortunately, plastic often hides in plain sight. Our favorite beverages may come in plastic-lined cartons and cans. The glitter we use in arts and crafts have aluminum and plastic. Such products allow plastic to easily seep into the environment. In addition, plastic pollution has an impact on economies and communities. For example, plastic litter can affect agriculture, tourism, shipping, fishing, and many other economic activities. Did you know that plastics also contribute to climate change? The processes of fossil fuel extraction, plastic manufacturing, transportation, recycling and disposal all release greenhouse gases, adding to the issue of global warming. So, let's discuss what we can do to solve this mega plastic puzzle. We need to transition away from a linear economy which involves extracting resources from the earth to produce products that are only used a few times. Instead, we need to build a circular economy that focuses on three key actions. Eliminate all problematic and unnecessary plastic items. Innovate to ensure that the plastics we do need are reusable, recyclable or compostable. Circulate all the plastic items we use to keep them in the economy and out of the environment. Let's discuss these actions in more detail. Did you know that half of all plastics produced are intended for single use? First, we must reduce our reliance on non-essential and disposable plastics. We can start by replacing single-use plastic bottles, straws, bags, balloons and cutlery with reusable ones. India has made progress in this direction by banning several single-use plastic products in the year 2022. Next. More research and development is required to make plastic more sustainable, recyclable and non-toxic. There have been recent advances like bioplastics, which are plastics made from biological substances such as agricultural waste rather than fossil fuels. However, not all bioplastics are biodegradable, non-toxic or recyclable. Bioplastics can also cause significant environmental damage if not designed sustainably. Finally, plastic waste needs to be properly managed. It begins in our homes. Let's ensure that all of our plastic waste is cleaned, dried and sorted before it is sent to authorized waste collectors for proper recycling and disposal. Government agencies such as the Pollution Control Board must ensure that the recycling and disposal of plastic do not pollute the environment. Overall, to reap the benefits of plastics while also protecting our planet, we must collaborate with governments, businesses and communities to rethink and change the way we design, manufacture, use and dispose of plastics. So, as an individual, 
How can you bring about an immediate change? Start by ditching single-use plastics. Stop yourself and others from littering and hand over clean, segregated waste to authorized vendors. Organize cleanup drives to remove plastic waste from your surroundings. Be conscious and choose eco-friendly products. Petition manufacturers to switch to more planet-friendly packaging. And most importantly, raise awareness and educate others. Together, let's lead the change and turn the tide on plastic waste for both people and the planet.